I am Deja Hair here. Today I will be talking about a ghost wig maker and how you can make money by becoming a ghost wig maker. First, we have to figure out what is a ghost wig maker, okay? A ghost wig makers are wig makers that create wigs behind the scenes. They make wigs for other companies without taking any type of credit. Being a ghost wig maker is like a private label company. For example, let's just say you have, have your own hair foam, right? You buy the foam from the vendor, they ship it to you, and you put on your own labels. Now you sell it as yours. It's the same as a ghost wig maker. Another company will create the wig for you. You will receive the wig and you will customize the outside of the wig. It is discreet and it is confidential. For example, let's think of a very popular wig company, right? You are creating the wig for that brand, but their audience does not know that. Their audience think that that wig company is making the wigs themselves. But really, you're making the wigs and you're not taking any credit from it. That wig company is paying you to create their wigs without you putting your logo in there, without putting anything on the inside of the wig or letting people know that you're making that wig. Now, typically, wig makers are just doing the construction only. They're only making the wigs. Now, you can certainly customize the wig if you like because every wig maker can make their own terms. It's whether you're going to construct the wigs or are you just going to construct the wigs and customize the wigs? But that's up to you. When you're talking about these agreements with your future clients, there may be a contract involved. Or if you're not doing a contract, you might just have a verbal agreement. It's up to you whether you want to go by the book or you want to go by your word. Do you want them to sign a contract with their signature on it and all your terms and conditions? Or a verbal agreement where you both are just going to trust each other and talk about it? That's up to you. Now, being a ghost wig maker, you are assisting wig companies with their business. And what I mean by wig companies, I mean by that is there's another business, which is a wig company that has a large amount of orders that they have and they need assistance with the orders. They can't do all the construction themselves because they have to get these wigs out in a timely manner. So they're hiring you to help them so they can get their wigs out within their specific time frame. You don't put your labels on it. You don't put anything on the inside. You construct it, you get your money, and the other business claim it as theirs. That's it, that's the agreement. Now, by being a ghost wig maker, you have your own base price. You have a minimum amount of quantity. With your minimum quantity, you are doing a minimum of five, 10, 12. You're doing a minimum of some number or not just taking one, okay? One, that's retail price. That's just to bring your own bundle service. We're not doing that. Make sure you have a minimum amount of orders that you are taking. That is how you become a, a ghost wig maker. You are not just taking one order because that's retail price. You have to have a minimum of orders that you are taking from this company. Make sure that your client is providing their own hair and they're providing their own caps. Or if you want to provide your own caps because they might not get the correct caps, they are only going to supply their hair. But you are going to work out that agreement with that company. Anyone can come a ghost wig maker, but everyone does not qualify to become a ghost wig maker. You need to make sure that your guidelines are correct. You need to make sure that you know how to put in elastic bands if you're adding bands. You need to make sure that your stitching is right. You know the tension that your machine should go on. There's more to it than just saying, oh, I know how to construct a wig. Let me be your ghost wig maker. No, no. You need to know where the closure is going. You need to know where the frontal is going. How many inches up do I need to have this closure? How many inches back does this frontal need to go? You need to know all of this. You need to know all of this in order to become a ghost wig maker. Now we're going to talk about approach. How are you going to approach these companies? Make sure that you know what you're saying when, you, when you're approaching these companies. Now, there may be a, a wig company that says, hey, I'm looking for some ghost wig makers. Make sure you're not in the comments just saying me, 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 me. You don't want to join the meeting. They will skip over you if you're just a me. Make sure you say more than just me. <laughs> Make sure you are saying more than just me. 
You better make sure you have you a, a pitch, okay? You want to make sure you're saying that your name. What is your name? Hey, my name is Deja. The name of my business is this. Make sure you have a pitch that you're going to tell them and not just me because me is not going to get you so far. Let's just say your favorite celebrity has a wig company and it's 600 me's underneath. How are you going to stand out? You have to make sure that you stand out. So you write your name, the name of your business, how long you have been making wigs. How long you been making wigs? What can you provide? Make sure you're not just putting me. We don't take me serious. We don't take me serious. Make sure you know exactly what you're saying. Make sure that your paragraph is a little lengthy, but it's not lengthy. What is your name? What is your name of your business? How long have you been in business? Why do you qualify? This is what I can provide. Make sure you are saying everything so that you can stand out over the me's. Make sure that your construction is amazing it's beautiful make sure that your construction is neat neat having neat construction is very important because i personally know many companies many people that makes wigs where the outside of their wigs is beautiful but when they show you the inside construction it is horrible the inside of your construction should match the outside who can do this? Anybody can do this. You don't need a wig business in order to become a ghost wig maker. You might just know exactly how to make a wig and you just want to make extra money or, or you just know the concept of wigs and you just want to help out another stylist. You can do that. Anybody can qualify as long as your work meets the standards. Make sure when you're working with these wig companies that you are creating the wigs like they're your own. Don't create your wigs better than their wigs, okay? Make sure that the construction is the same and you wouldn't be able to tell if it's your wig or the company's wig. Now, lastly, you can also do customization. That is between you and the company. When it comes to customization, are you going to bleach the knots? Are you going to color it? What are you going to do? If you choose this option, that is going to increase the price because you're doing more work. You can always customize it. You can always add add-ons, but that is between you and the company. That is the definition of a ghost wig maker and how you become a ghost wig maker. Make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe, and comment any future videos that you would like to see.